Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing Adventures Hawks Bay. If you're new here, I'm Jono and uh, in this series of videos I'm restoring my project boat and I'm showing you how that's done. So please consider clicking on the subscribe button in the, on the bottom of this video to follow me during this process. A big shout out goes out to Stephen from Swallow at Baits in Burley for giving me the idea on the next part of my boat where I'll be showing you how to do the anti-slip on your boat for real cheap. Check out his link in the description below to get your hands on some of the best baits in Burley in town. Woo! Make sure you click on that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the future action. So here I just have the panel that uh, this panel is the hatch for my petrol tank under the floor so I'm going to show you how I've done the rest of my boat on this panel so I started it off just with some masking tape and then I just masked off all the edges I already gave it a blue coat for the bottom coat so by masking off the edges then putting on the sand and then removing the tape that will give me a smooth edge at the end So I'm also just masking off the edge where this latch would be going in so that it doesn't have any of the sand on it and sticks out a bit. So next step we need some we need some resin and a brush. So all I do is just pour some resin on there and then you start brushing it in to the edges of that masking tape. Try not to go on the edges. It makes it harder to pull it off in the end. Just a thin layer of resin can go on this whole surface. And now for the magic ingredient. This is a bag of plain old sea sand that I've bought for 10 bucks from the Garden Depot and um, we're just taking a normal kitchen sieve getting some sand in there and you just sieve the sand evenly across the surface so now you leave that to dry for 48 hours and then we'll get back to it. It's now 48 hours later and uh, the next step would be to vacuum up all the excess sand on the panel. just get rid of all the sand that's not sticking on there clean that up real nice and the next step would be to get some paint onto this just putting some gloves on because this gets real messy so what I have over here is some blue paint this is gel coat and it's called the uh, backwater blue and that's uh, we're going to mix it in some catalyst to harden it up so the mix for this is normally half of what you would use for the resin so I just put in five moles to about uh, 500 of catalyst what I like to do is 
just mix in some acetone to thin it up a bit just a tiny bit it will be enough and then you really need to stir this in and make sure you get every single bit mi mixed in with the acetone and with the catalyst so it will if there's a little bit that doesn't get any acetone or, or catalyst on it it won't harden up it will stay it will stay soft so give this a really good mix get in all the corners and then we just pour this into the bucket and I have I have a little sponge roller I found that works best you can also use just a normal brush that will also work I just found that this gets it in a little bit better and applies the, the gel coat a bit better and then simple we just roll that in you'll see it start soaking up in the sand so you need to use a fair amount of blue paint on this it, it just soaks it up so you need to apply a fair fair amount of paint to the surface right with this done <clears throat> the last step would be just removing the tape And then when I, what I like to do is the smooth edge, just give it a fresh coat of paint to make it look nice and tidy. This is what the finished product looks like and what I've done on the rest of my boat using a $10 bag of beach sand. And that's how you do the anti-slip on skid on your boat for really cheap. So please remember guys, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your mates.